Welcome to one of the 2v2 Wrath of the Lich King Arena Analyzing. Here we are at the warming server, Blackrock Realm. Another high tier players, they are just started 3 to 1 for now. A rogue priest. So let's see what they will do. Gear score 6.4k, so almost full. And we are recording from a Discord, of course, as I've written. And let's go. We're currently online at Twitch too, so you can follow us there. Oh, it's a discipline priest. Okay, Paladin Warrior, one of the best combos. Sapped Paladin, go for Warrior. Paladin still sapped. Paladin still in on sap. And Paladin. Can yeah he reached. Okay, healed and okay, they're fine. What the discipline priest should do for now as after he is stunned <laughs> uh, is to mana burn the paladin. Otherwise they have no chance of winning against this team because each time rogues dodges an attack, the warrior could overpower it. Gouges the warrior. They're putting everything on warrior, but yeah. That's a tough matchup for Rogue Priest. So let's just skip to another one. If he does track of his priest's uh, main abilities, that, that should be fine. Uh, that was easier to track. Mage priest. So let's see. The mage is probably frost. No, it's arcane. It's arcane priest. So let's see. That's interesting. Continuing on sapping him. Going full combo. Oh, he almost lost his all combo because of the priest. Nice job. It's an S priest. Uh, and he horrors him. So his most effective cooldown on rogue becomes a fail. Because he was disarmed the whole time. Trying one more time. Let's see if he can do it. If he fails this time, they're almost lost. Yeah. Another 10 seconds. He might have a shot, but he have to survive that time. And it is what it is. When you're facing two DPS and they did a great job on your first offensive CD, so yeah.
let's see, priest and the rogue, I guess. Or maybe droid. Let's see if it continues to sap. And the whole time his priest didn't dispel anything. That's something that counts indeed. <sighs> well, the, the other rogue goes full on the priest. And our rogue is. Switching between targets, I guess. I'm going full on the priest. But the, the other rogue could, could get the rogue at this time. Yeah, but he decided to kill, kill the priest. <laughs> I mean, why are they just fighting just one on one? If the other rogue comes on this, this rogue, even his priest won't get any damage. So everything should be fine and they, they got a huge lead. Well the problem was uh, the priest I guess, uh, this one, the ally priest. The whole time sapping it was something like 10 to 15 seconds. The whole time he was just watching, he could mass dispel everything. And why using mass dispel? Because uh, they got a rogue. If the rogue was standing near him, the dispels should get both of them. So, let's come here. What do we have here? Discipline priest. And the droid. Hmm. Nice. A great combination. A powerful one. In high tiers, the discipline priest and the feral droid. Oh, versus these guys. I know their paladin, their paladin is a great player, I can say. So let's see what they do. The droid is trying to skirmish the other one. They just want to reach the paladin and get the position advantage because when the priest reaches the paladin he can fear him burns him and mind control him so it's basically a win if he can reach him. but the paladin knows that so he just keeps distance and both teams uh, gearing with high resilience tiers so The Feral Droid is using all his combos just to get the Paladin out of the game and he's getting these spells. Yeah, that's the time. That's what I was talking about. The fear. These spells and they will go on him. They will go full DPS on the Paladin. They want to make him go on Divine Shield. Go f and and he missed. <laughs> he couldn't even reach the divine shield. All they tried to do was to make him go on divine shield, and then just dispel it. 
and just one more time. The warrior was not effective that much on the droid because uh, if the feral droid, if you leave a feral droid, you, he can just charge it on you, his combos, and the damage would be massive. He's lethal, you can't fall. And the thing is, uh, the Discipline Priest has all of his cooldowns, so yeah, basically Warrior was doing nothing. And all of the Cyclones were on the Paladin till the last one, I guess, as I can see. So CC the uh, healer at just before the <laughs> Priest reaches the Paladin, when Priest reaches the Paladin, they all change it and rotate into Paladin and they just go for it. Go full dispel, fear, and then pop. Well, again. Let's see what the warrior do. The warrior came here and just charged for the priest. I don't know why. Why is he doing that? Because as you can see, the feral droid just charges on him and gives the cyclone to the cane X the paladin. So hmm. let's see what he's up to. A disciplined priest can survive these things. See, always keeps the distance from the priest. He always tries to just keep his distance. Just see how he runs away and tries to just keep the heal of the warrior. Keep healing him, stunning, and keep healing. That's what a paladin should play against disciplined priests. Mm -hmm. Now they go full DPS on Paladin. And now this time Warrior goes on Priest. The, the, that, that's a fault. When, when the DPS, when they both dip, are DPSing your uh, healer as a DPS, you should go for the DPS. Because in that time, you can buy some time for your healer to heal himself. And get some CC. But if you go on the healer, the DPS is free on your healer and he's going to kill him. This time he survived. Because he's a paladin, but yeah. It is what it is. He tries to just do everything, buff again, and cyclone the fear. Let's see what they will do. They rotate to the discipline. The fear is ready. Now all they need to do is to cyclone the paladin and just gives gives time to the priest to reach him. To get this fear. And yeah, they go out both on paladin, yet the rotation was clear uh, clearly uh, clearly great. Can I say? It was clear. It was clean. Yeah, that's the word. Let's 
that's it. Discipline is uh, yeah, he still got this, so he's he's still fine. Pain suppression, so he's still fine. Going for DPS on Paladin. <laughs> He's trying to dispel everything. Yeah, he was so busy uh, dispelling things. Both, I, I can say both four play, uh, not both. I can say four players. All players were on uh, low HP, so it was just a gamble to how to heal or continue DPSing. And uh, what did they? they have just done was to challenge a player or a team and that's why they're still facing that paladin warrior again they're skirmishing nice it's a battle of fun a discipline feral versus a paladin arms warrior This feature of challenging is just, you can see in just private servers. The warrior goes again on priest. And the priest, I guess he's trying to, yeah, reaching the paladin, he's cycloned and fear. Dispelled, going full DPS. Yeah, the strategy is basically this. It is how you can fight a paladin. One of the advantages that the other team has is uh, healing reduce. If that's a thing. Mortal strike of the warrior. Yeah, it's going to be really pain. Well, he's tracking of everything here. Nice. So now we know. Mending, renewing, shield, penance, everything on himself. To survive and buy time. And yeah, for this moment, Feral will get space. They will just line them. His position of priest here is great because if warrior uh, goes on priest again at there at the column, he was lined with his healer, and the feral druid could tear him apart. There were nothing to do as a paladin. See now they just cyclone, and if it was anything aside the warrior, that will can charge us. It was a mess. But the Paladin should follow that too. Here. He's tracking of the overpower. Ah, I don't know, maybe... The warrior has a lot of more powerful, more powerful spells than overpower. Overpower is one of the most powerful, but yeah. That. 
the style of player is unique so you can tell anything although he has his trinket but he won't use it on the fears because his partner is fine for now and use it for crucial situations Him no power. Hmm. Yeah, line him, line him, great. Now the position, see, see the paladin wants to heal, but he can't because of the position of the priest. That's that's how a position in arena is that useful. Just see the see the paladin's movement from this side to this side here and there and he makes the paladin to get near to the column so that he gets fear it's not the paladin's fault it is how the priest lined the, wa the warrior with his healer that's the outcome mm -hmm. see just line the line him with the warrior but the warrior gets the angle back so he could use the mind control to just get get distance from the warrior or anything. He used pain separation on himself and he will survive this one because of the CD. Let's see and okay. Dispel Bless of Kings. Uh, he's buffing right now and he's dispelling it. The trinket is ready. So the paladin can get away and uh, the priest is in bad position. Just, just line the warrior with his, with the paladin, so the paladin can just get near you. Yes, that's the best thing you can do for now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just hit now. Bending, renewing, everything to follow that paladin. One more thing that you, uh, you have to have in mind as a healer in 2v2s is that your worst enemy is your global cooldown. You have to use everything for your global cooldown. For example, he can just put these two, yeah, as he's doing it right now. To just, uh, it's not a big DPS, but he's using his global cooldown. That's a thing. You won't kill the time. These are the macro things that you can do to win a battle. A battle is not always about the stats. It's about the style. Now, when he 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 got he he has the cooldown, he's he's safe. So he goes for the paladin. Starting to mana burn, it's too late, I guess. He should do it from the first, but he's doing it for now. Let's try a couple hymn of hope. Let's see, does he have it? Where is it? Oh, okay, two minutes. Yes, line him, line him. Try to line warrior. 
mine. Ah. The warrior was aware that he's going to mind control. Mind him. Give the priest the space. Warrior knows what are they up to. That's nice. That's nice. When you're playing with someone that knows what's your strategy and what you're going to do. Makes it hard. Okay, pain suppression is on cooldown for now. They can do a mistake for now. The the paladin should come for DPS. Uh, he he just he needs to come come closer. When they are out of everything, the paladin should play it aggressively. Okay, he got slowed, he got stunned. He's not as... Ah, he got slowed again. Feared both of them. He's in bad position, low mana, low HP. As I said, one of the most effective things that you can face this team is to give your priest space that he can mana burns the paladin. But this arena, uh, Blade Ridge arena, arena, is so hard for do such a thing if the other player knows what he's doing. So they basically lost to the arena. It's a random thing. Well, about 900k damage. Great. That arena is one of the best things for priest to mana burns a paladin. So let's see. If I was right, this time the same thing the same teams and this time this team should win because they have the space because this arena gives them give the priest the space oh nice He's just dispelling everything on both of them. He should dispel this one too. The Paladin's shield. It's really big. He should always dispel it. Dispel, 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 dispel. Dispel the paladin, he got the king's buff. The fear is ready, he goes for the paladin. Okay, he's still not up to for burning. Guess the strategy is not the same as the last one. Oh, it is the same as the last one. He should go for the burning team. Mana burn is the worst enemy of Paladin. He still got the kings. Mana burn, mana burn, yeah, that's it, that's it, my boy. Oh, he got the, the deep of two, so. I don't know why he just got it. 
but he got it. That's a five percent more damage taken, so that's not a favor you you are, you need to have. He he used plea, so he's most fresh, fresh with everything. Dispel the paladin. Dispel him. Great. Now go full DPS on him. So this time, uh, for, uh, till now, he got just four or five mana burns on the Paladin, and this decreasing of his mana is really big. Paladin won't just give his mana that easily in Arena, so yeah. He's still judging him, judgmenting him. The red one. <laughs> he knows that he, he's planning to get mounted again. One of the other things that, as a warrior, that uh, you're not able to one shot your. Let's see, let's see, let's see what they will do. And he, he got the heals. Okay. Uh, one of the things that, as a warrior, when you cannot one shot uh, your enemy in arena, which is almost every matchup in high rating, is to use Sunder Armor. Sunder Armor is a thing, it makes a big difference with 5 stacks. <sighs> well, what should they do to win this? Yes, his one of his defensive spells was still up, so I guess I'm not sure. I wasn't tracking of it, but my guess is the order of the CDs are is uh, is not what it should be. Okay, a fresh start. Let's see, the warrior will start with priest again. For sure, when when the strategy works, you shouldn't just change it. Fear, dispel, spell. Mana bear, mana bear, yeah. Yes. Now the warrior rotates on the droid. Love. 
I don't know, they just want three arenas. Why is it changing? Why the warrior is changing it? Just get the warrior back to, to the other t uh, other part of the tomb, and the paladin should come closer. See, they just jump back here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, and he's lined. He's lined. Uh, they should just fight the warrior back there. It was the best thing to do. In this chamber, in this door, uh, he, there there are two lines between left and right hinges, so he can line the priest mono bears too. They are just in free space, and that's not what the f that's not their favor, because the warrior can just play the storm wave in ten seconds. Two, one, and the trinkets are up. What are your trinkets? And he's played so yeah, exactly. See, as I've said. You shouldn't just change a strategy, a strategy when you, you when you're winning. Even if it's fail, even if it's not right, even if it's wrong, whatever. When you go on a priest and you can kill him, just go for it. There's something wrong. <laughs> just use it. Use your advantage. Whatever it is. I have to mention that they're not failing a major thing. If it was a major failure, they should have just lost in first 10 seconds or 20 at the high team. It's just micro mistakes, just micro. Something that the other they should fight on the other side of the tomb. That's that's a fail. That's that's the bad move I can say. have used both of his defensive abilities so he's in a bad position right now he can just fail it uh, he can just afford an, another little thing he shouldn't just play it aggressively for the paladin he should play defensively just jump down go around the columns I just line the warrior. You don't need to go playing offensively for the paladin. Hmm? Just go for the column. Yeah. Exactly. There you should be fine. Still say just wait another one minute, then go for paladin. Okay. Double fear, pull stun. One of the other things that the, uh, the Paladin can do is to play it aggressively right now. Because they are out of defensives. And he got this done. Mm, 
now this team has the defensive zone. It's all about ordering your offensive and defensive cooldowns in the right order. If you can do that, this is what's happening. Now the Paladin is playing it aggressively when the defensive is up, when their defensive is up, and he doesn't have his stun, and he loses his trinket. Uh, not the, now the priest can go f uh, if if he got full HP he can go for paladin that's the time yeah see this is the right play mm -hmm. just go both for the paladin why because they got defensives up they don't got the their cooldowns up, so that's advantage. Ah, what? Uh, well, basically, mind controlling a warrior is something useless because he got charge, and yeah, because the ally charge too. But both of them are out of trinket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, now there's time. Now there's time. Just go for these two and just put some DPS. If you can do that should be great dispel sacred shield dispel, dispel sacred shield yeah dispelling sacred shield is a thing sacred shield of paladin is big thing he is going to fear Fear, okay. Stun, trinket, and stun. Mana baron, mana baron. Yeah, he's losing his mana. And also, this uh, this priest has his hymnophobe, so he has his cooldown for mana. Yeah, yeah, he should play it aggressively for the paladin. Abort, abort. <laughs> he doesn't just needs to reach him and fears him. I know why he insists on doing this this one. Just mana burning him on his place is just fine. <coughs> Sorry. On the fear ward. Drinking. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Paladin is out of <laughs> reflect. <laughs> he reflected the mind control. Nice job by Warrior. Fear. You don't need to mind control him. Just go for bird. With your shadow fiend, shadow fiend, shadow fiend, shadow fiend, him no poke, shadow fiend, whatever, just get mana. He needs to just rotate on the warrior and 
dispel the sacred shield and let his druid just do some DPS's on him because the warrior got healer reduce and the uh, druid doesn't have such a thing that pop that as powerful as mortal strike. See, sacred shield. Oh, well, it's dispelled. So he's focused dispelling. Mm -hmm. Nice micro. Dispel again, dispel, dispel it again, dispel it again. You got your shadow fiend. What you what you need to do just shadow painting him because he needs to stay here. And he doesn't have his stun, so you should get almost all of your mana back. See. This build sacred shield. Yeah, exactly. That's a nice micro you are. Well, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, playing a matchup like this with a Paladin Warrior or a Paladin Warrior mirror match. They're just breathtaking. It's just about your style. They just go again. Mm -hmm. So, when you should use your trinket, but it's uh, basically can use both in offensive part and defensive part what type uh, when you should use it it's completely depend on the situation it's, it's not a mandatory just to use it for defensive so first defensive just to reach paladin it's a bit rush but he's doing it good loses his second that's what, why it's a rush and he should he should not do that and yeah he basically just lose two defensives just to reach a paladin but this building Is he still displaying the sacred shield? Uh huh. One more thing you need to do is mind control. Great. You didn't need to rotate. Just go back on warrior, and gives your uh, gives your priest space. To go mind control, mind control, mind control. MC. Great. Just line him. <laughs> why you just? Why you just move forward? You should go lining him behind the doors. Well, your defensive is up. And yeah. This is how you should play these arenas.
resetting everything on him and just rush for the paladin this time is better at least but I still need oh, I'll go for it. yeah that's better just don't go directly ahead You need to get safe, you need to get safe, and yeah, I guess you shouldn't just rush for Paladin, don't rush it. Position of the priest, discipline priest, is one of the most important thing when you're playing it. The position is everything, almost everything. Don't rush it, yeah, exactly. Let them come to you. Okay. Whatever. At least don't insist on doing that. <laughs> The warrior was pounced, so that's why the warrior was out of the joining, out of the park. Play the storming both of them, which is great for them. Double fear, which is great for this team. <laughs> dispel it, dispel it. Oh. He needs to heal himself. This way, this way. Oh, okay. Get safe. Now you can dispel. Oh, he's using recount for healing now. Just notice. <laughs> Do not rush it. Oh, he's pounced. Now you can rush it. Here. No one trinket. No one trinket in it. They're going full DPS on warrior. Save your druid. Mind control the healer. They should be fine. Yeah, line the warrior and he needs to come closer and this is what happened don't fight don't fight them wide open area he got his blade sword he just needs his trinkets to go full dps Whatever mind controlling warrior is useless. He 
still got this main separation. Okay, he got his, they got his divine shield. Never give up. That's another key thing. You just don't lose a game. Either you win it or you learn from it. But if you learn from all of these, I don't know, five or six last arenas, from these two teams skirmishing each other each time, and almost every time. The result were the same is that something is wrong and something is not about stats because they're all four geared so keep distance as a paladin doing great when you want to go aggressive just reach the healer go for double fear but try not to sacrifice both your defensives just for that just oh the, 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 the one thing you need to do in that situation was to uh, get the warrior this get distance from the from his healer or line him just like that exactly Now he's keeping distance, just play these these two sides. Yeah, this side. So he needs to come closer. Do it in bad position, yeah. He distracted warrior. Fear. Now mind controlling the warrior can can work, but Condition was not first, ready for it. They're both out of trinket. Always strike on your shielding and things and buffs. Always strike it. J just like the other paladin. Let's see. He, he doesn't have the sacred shield, but he will have it soon. He doesn't have the sacred shield, so <laughs> that's why he, he just died. See? One shield is just turning around the table that easily. Why are they just DPSing him? Just mana burn him. If, if he won't give up, which he basically needs to do that, just burn him. Yeah. Yeah, this time uh, we want to track the sacred shield. Always track on your sacred shield as a holy paladin. So let's go for an educational stream on holy paladin too. All, your sacred shield is one of your most powerful spells on your ally or on yourself. It basically makes you alive. <laughs> it defends you from being dead. Okay, sadly they didn't continue doing PvP, so I guess we call the stream for now too.